lighting is okay. So, hey plant fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. This is my living room. And I've got a bunch of stuff behind me because we're getting ready to go on a family vacation. So I apologize. And I am so sorry if the lighting is bad because the window's over here and I don't feel like moving stuff. But that is fine. And I'm wearing the same thing that I was just wearing in another video because I just finished filming it and I don't feel like changing my shirt. So anyway, thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And today I have a box from a company called Mudela. I think that's how you say it. M-U-D-E-E-L-A. Anyway, so they sell a bunch of really cute plant accessories and stuff like that that I will link down below for you guys. And they reached out and wanted to send me some stuff to try. And I was like, yeah, send it on over. So I picked out a cute little plant stand that I think will go with my aesthetic. And I'm excited to check it out. I didn't bring my scissors that's fine we're just gonna tear it open like a savage so thank you very much to Mudila for sending this to me and for sponsoring this video <laughs> we appreciate you because um you know oh pretty this is really pretty this is packaged really nice so I get to be very easily distracted so this is what it looks like and it comes with all of this information. So this is an adjustable bamboo plant stand and it comes in a bunch of different colors. I think I got the black one because our plant stand is completely handmade. It will inevitably have a slight deviation in size. If you don't like our product, please feel free to contact us. We will solve your problem within 24 hours. All right, I think these are made in China, but they look cute, so let's see. I'm really bad at putting stuff together, so I hope that this isn't difficult because David was supposed to help me. I get very easily frustrated, <laughs> so this will be a good test on how easy this is to set up. Please, sweet baby Jesus, let there be instructions. Oh, yeah. Take out two parts of the plant stand. Okay. Let's take out the two parts of the plant stand. Am I the only one who's, like, really significantly bad at trying to put things together it's not like I'm incapable I just get like really easily frustrated with things they smell weird it's fine it's probably whatever they painted it with so it does look like this is the bamboo and it's just been painted black because I thought that that would go better with my aesthetic. All right, so this seems simple enough, right? It says just to connect them. Boom. Next it says, tighten with screw to make the plant stand firmer. Put in a flower pot up to 12 inches. Okay, so it is adjustable and it comes with two that you can, oh, you literally can't even see me that you can keep separate. Like this can just be one. We'll probably use it this way. This could just be like another one. So you could use these separately essentially, or they stack on top of each other, which is probably how I'm going to use it. They are adjustable, so let me just show you really quickly what that means. There's like a little slot in here that you kind of just like pull. Do you see what I mean? So you can actually make this really wide for like a really big pot. Like that's, that's pretty big actually. Let's see. <laughs> Gonna end up breaking this thing before I even get to using it. All right, so you can literally slide these in and out to adjust. Let's try. 
put a plant in there and see what it looks like. So you can place your plant in and then just push the things to fit it. Oh, that's cute. All right, now you can see. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness, I love it. This is my mom's um, Christmas cactus or Thanksgiving cactus, whatever you want to call it. And um, I think it fits really nicely in here. And then what you can do apparently is connect them. So there's little holes here and here. And then you have these things that I know for a fact, because I've put together so many of these things that I, I hate doing it, honestly, that <laughs> you stick them in here like this. And then you attach it into the other one. And that's kind of how they go in, if that makes sense. Oh wow, that's like, that's really nice and tall. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how, how the heck and Bob these go together. Am I like an idiot? Or is this just like really difficult to do? Okay, let me take the plant out. So at least it comes apart easily. I'm curious to see what this looks like all together. Obviously there's screws in here to hold these together. I should probably do that first before I start messing with it. So on the bottom here, there's a hole. I'm gonna put the screw in the hole like so. And then it comes with like a little key it's like a little screw key and I'm gonna just screw it in like that until it's tight so hopefully that helps keep this together a little bit better put the little screw in it comes with two extra screws so that's good in case you screw up <laughs> see what I did there I think I'm funny I'm not I'm really not that funny you guys this is just how I am. I'm glad that some of you find me entertaining, though, honestly, and that you're still here watching this. you the real MVP for still being here. Okay, so then I'm just going to take all these little, like, wooden pegs and stick them in the top here to make my life easier. Doop. Ow. Doop, doop. This reminds me of... That time I had to put my shelves together or that time I had to watch my ex-boyfriend put my shelves together and be annoyed by it and not let me help him. So there's a reason why he's my ex. Um, all right. And then this just goes on top, I guess. That's what she said. I am such a child. I have the most childish sense of humor. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this, like, all stacked up. Like, I feel like it should be the other way. Do you know what I mean? It just seems like a more reasonable amount of space. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, like, really painfully wrong. Yeah, that's how it is in the picture. So there's just, like, a, a lot of space in the middle and a little space at the top. So, it's adjustable for anywhere between 8 to 12 inch containers. So, let's try this again, again, again. I wish I had like an interesting story to tell you guys while I do this. Um, I can tell you about how I recently signed up for school and I... <laughs> I'm doing it online this semester because I don't want to take the risk of going to campus. Um, even though they're doing all of the things to keep people safe, I'm just trying to play it safe here and um, not put myself or anybody else in my family at risk. I just don't, I don't want to um, 
be part of spreading anything. And if anybody's gonna get it, it's probably gonna be me on campus, knowing my luck, because that's actually where I got it the first time. All the way back in the beginning, <laughs> I can't breathe, before we knew really what was actually going on, um, all of us on campus were really sick. Like we were walking around like the walking dead. So it makes sense when you think about the timeline of it. So although I'm not trying to talk about, um, you know, the Rona right now or the, the forbidden C word, but it's definitely still a thing. And it's something that I'm concerned with. So I have not really been going out an awful lot, but and if I am, I'm being really, really careful. But I definitely am not the type to be going out to bars and stuff anyway, or like restaurants. I'm vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free. Like, I, I can't have FODMAP foods. Like, <laughs> there's not very many places for me to eat. Okay, this is hella cute. I'm going to put it on the floor and bring you guys over here. But I feel like I need to find another plant to put on it um get another one of my mom's plants Ugh. as she's like sort of murdering but I'm, i try to help her not murder so this one's like significantly smaller but i just wanted to test out how it looks i look like the hot mess express right now and i apologize but yeah so here's what it looks like okay so it's all i'm all crooked here so my mom says she says crooked instead of crooked but um this is my plant stand <laughs> as you can see it's super freaking cute like i am not mad at this at all and it's pretty tall honestly it's a lot taller than I anticipated. I think each one of these is about 15 inches. So 30 inches tall. Um, it's actually pretty damn cute. And I have a corner of my room that I'm going to be putting it in. I just haven't quite decided what plants I'm going to be putting in there. This giant blue thing behind me is so ugly. What an eyesore. Let me block it with my body. <laughs> so yeah, this is my bamboo plant stand from Moodila. I will link this down below for you guys. They have lots of other planty products that I'm probably going to be trying. That's really it. I'm not mad at this. I think it's really stinking cute. My mom's pothos, not so much, but um, Christmas cactus is cute. Would you believe that I actually fished this out of the garbage? Somebody had put it, I live in a co-op and we leave our trash like outside in the morning and a guy comes around with like a little like quad <laughs> with like a thing in the back and gathers up all of the garbage and takes it to the dumpster. So I was walking out of the house one morning and noticed this big, huge, massive, beautiful plant in the dumpster. Like somebody must have given it as a gift and then the people just didn't want it. And I was like, who, who throws out a plant? Like what kind of monster throws out a perfectly healthy plant? So I took it inside and gave it to my mom and she's been taking care of it. It took me so long to tell her not to water this thing once a week. She has a hard time understanding that um, some plants don't need to be watered once a week. <laughs> I had to rescue her jade plant recently from root rot and just like chop it and repot it for her. So hopefully she's learned her lesson not to <laughs> over water her plants anymore so i am going to put this somewhere nicer and give you guys like a little overview of how it looks turned around without this disgusting ugly blue thing in the background but 
that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I like doing product reviews. I know it's not necessarily the most exciting thing in the world, so maybe next time we can do a story time Q&A type situation, but for now, I just wanted to show you setting this bad boy up, and honestly, I think this is a really great space saver, and it's cute as hell, so I'm, I'm not mad at it. Definitely gonna be good for my tiny space. More places for me to stack plants. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There may or may not still be some stuff up in my Etsy. I'm working on rooting more things for you. There are a bunch of different links that you could shop through in my description box. I make a little bit of a commission when you do shop through my affiliate links, so I appreciate that. And if not, I have a Venmo and a PayPal linked down in there if you want to buy your girl some Starbucks. Okay, okay. I appreciate you fam and um, I will see you in the next one. Bye!